All right, so bank holiday, Sunday the 1st, Sunday of May. I've just got back from a cider and perry festival at Putley, um, which is uh, called the Big Apple. If you look up the Big Apple uh, Putley, uh, you'll be able to find out about it. And it's a lovely experience. Um, Joe's got a third prize in uh, the bottled, uh, uh, bottled red cider. Uh, I came 10th out of 26 with... Uh, my uh, medium sweet cider. Uh, it was a great experience meeting lots of cider makers. Thankfully the weather was very nice. And uh, just a little look around the orchard. This is Yarlington Mill. That's what, it's a number of bees up here. I'm really glad to see them. Different species of bees, lots of different kinds of bee. Uh, big bumblebee. I can see three different sorts of bumblebee. Different sizes. I can't see any honeybees here, though we have had some honeybees around. And, uh, yeah, this is Yarlington Mill, one of the uh, later cider apples to come into bloom. Uh, this is Harry Masters Jersey, and you can see this is a long way behind. Most of this is a pink bud, just a little bit of this open. And if we go to the next tree, which didn't have as much blossom as I'd have liked this year, um, yeah, though it did have some, this is uh, Le Brat, and uh, you can see that this is long finished blossoming. Uh, again, I've made this point before. Uh, you know, you've got to be uh, aware of how things blossom at different times. But look, the growth that's coming. Look, that's uh, uh, three inches, a uh, nice little shoot there. Three inches growth already. Uh, the uh, fifth, <laughs> fifth, is it the fourth? Uh, I think it's the fifth of May. Fourth of May. First thing was the first of May. Anyhow, here we are, and uh, this orchard is being developed as a cider orchard. The trees are fairly widely spaced, they're mainly on Merlingwood and 111 rootstock. Uh, this is very like sandy soil, and these trees were neglected in the first years. They had um, uh, a dessert apple was interplanted between them, which I don't think it helped. Um, anyway, they're now getting some good manure, a good, good farmyard manure from our neighbours. Um, Tremble, it's bitter. This, this apple is uh, strictly biennial. You get a big crop one year, nothing the next year. Uh, we've got about five of them here, and there's a very big one at the far end of the orchard. Uh, and they're out of phase, so we always have some, some years. This is an apple tree that was grafted over. It's a little bit about grafting. Uh, this is a tremlitz. I uh, grafted this over three rind grafts. Uh, about six years ago now. Three rind grafts. One, two, three. And this is um, Somerset Red Streak. It's a very tall and upright growing. And this, I think, is the first year we're going to have a serious crop on it. Somerset Red Streak. Along here is another tree that was grafted, I think, the year after or the same year. This is Foxwood Brock's Whelp. No, it's not. I always get that wrong. This is uh, Foxwood. <laughs> this is Broxwood. B R O X. Broxwood Foxwhelp. It's probably easier if I call it Brock if I call it Foxwhelp. But there's actually a number of uh, cider apples called Foxwhelp. And this, like the other uh, one I showed you with it. The red streak. This is great. There's a double cleft graft there. Another double cleft graft there. And another double cleft there. Um, and there's another. Uh, and um, those were tremblets, but I had too many. I wanted to do, uh, add these extra varieties. Here's the uh, um, Yarlington Mills. These were Bramleys. Uh, service requirements is a row from here. Where they thorn back very hard two years ago. Uh, growth was uh, shoots came out. I removed the shoots, all the ones I wanted, and these were saddle grafted. You can see there's the long V, the uh, long V slitting into uh, the, uh, the a point going into a recess, and it's grown away tremendously well. Uh, it's very good. And I've put a couple of Morgan Sweet, one of the kind friends, out on the side of. Uh, on the you know the vlog 
sent me this Morgan Sweet. So I've grafted. That's been done this year. That one seems to be growing. This one seems to be growing. This one seems to be growing. Morgan Sweet. It always seems like a miracle to me every time uh, that you graft something and it takes uh, its early days yet. This is the best, uh, by the way, for those of you who have done some grafting, and some of you have got back to me, this is the absolute best you could possibly be hoping for at this time. Uh, if you can see absolutely nothing, then, you know, maybe worry. <laughs> Worrying won't actually make any difference. You see the, the huge difference between this is the, the, what's growing away from the, uh, the, inter, from, the, the, from the stock, which is Bramley, and this is what's growing away from the graft, not much. Is saddles obviously. So that's just showing you that tree over there, and uh, that tree there uh, is the ones which were grafted in the past, and um, you can see the level of success that can be enjoyed. And uh, yeah, we planted a few new trees, a few new cider trees in the orchard just to increase the um, diversity uh, to give us cider makers. Um, more, more colours in our palette. And this is um, Michelin, a very popular variety, French variety. A lot of our cider genetics originally came from France, before that from the Romans. But we have uh, greatly, when I say we, I mean the English gardeners, have greatly uh, uh, multiplied that up by uh, careful breeding and selective uh, work. This is a, a, a triple fill barrel and this was planted two years ago. This came I think from good old Ashridge Nurseries. Yes, uh, Ashridge Nurseries, they recommended. Um, I planted two of these, uh, two uh, fill barrels because this, uh, this orchard, you know what we call it, orchard number three or orchard B or whatever, um, we decided to call this orchard uh, fill barrel. So I quite liked the name Till Barrel, and there's a side wrap of that name. So I thought, well, actually, we really ought to have a, a Phil Barrel in here, which maybe, as uh, Liz Copaz says, will uh, fill the barrels one of these days. This is the end of the cider section of the orchard. And beyond this, we've got uh, uh, Orleans Renettes. And my favourite apples, it's from France, it's good to eat raw. Uh, as Edward Bunyard said, as a background to an old port, uh, it stands not solitary and unapproachable. And I have actually eaten um, um, a ripe uh, Orleans Renette with vintage port, and it is a good accompaniment to vintage port, certainly. So we've got some uh, good old uh, Orleans Renettes here, and here are some. Uh, Kids orange red, which again you can see has a very beautiful blossom, but this blossom is nearly all over. All the internet's one of our later blossoms coming up. And uh, anyway, so you get the picture. This is some more of the heritage apples, so. Uh, probably because we have got a lot of Orleans Renette in the other two sections of the orchard, um, I'm probably going to graft those Orleans Renettes over to cider apples so that we will have more cider apples here because I have a market for all of them and I don't have to do so much work as I get older, as I get nearer to my 60th birthday and I have so many other things to do. I want to hold to keep the orchard going as a uh, place of rest and peace and refuge for uh, you know, us and our friends and people we know to come here uh, so we can come and breathe deeply. Uh, in my shed I've got a, a cheap Telecaster and a, a battery amp so I can sit make a terrible awful noise there and nobody minds. Um, you know, I can shut up and listen to the birds in the wind, watch the, uh, uh, the buzzards wheeling above and uh, drink some very nice cider. Uh, but cider apples, once they're established and mature, it's a lot less work. So that's one of the things that we're doing here. We're doing fewer um, eating apples for the markets. We're doing more genetic rare varieties that we're keeping going for heritage reasons. And so we can pass the sign wood on to other people so that more small heritage backyards, orchards can be established. And uh, we aim to continue doing that. And, uh, and um, to... Uh, to sell all the apples uh, 
for cider making um, and some very nice and very award winning cider has come from this orchard and I hope more, more will do so in the future. So that's the way it's going generally, although you know there's more to be told. Some of the poplars leave the trees leave the trees